This conference will now be recorded. All right. Hello, my name is Megan Allman, and I'm with the Northwest Association for Blind Athletes. And today I have Eliana Mason with us. Hello. And, everyone. Yeah, so Eliana, if you'd like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are, uh, okay. including what sport you enjoy. Hi, yeah. So my name is Ileana Mason. I am 24 years old right now. Um, I play for Team USA in the sport of goalball. I went to the Rio 2016 Paralympics with Team USA, and it's my goal to go to the 2020 Tokyo Paralympics with the team and win a gold medal. Um, I am a student as well. I am in my master's program working towards my um, master's in mental health counseling. Um, I got my undergrad degree in psychology at Portland State University. And I am born and raised in the Portland metro area. I have been doing events with Northwest Association of Blind Athletes for 10 years now. Started off as an athlete and now I'm here helping out as a coach. That's awesome. So I think you've just answered all of the questions I have on my list, but we'll kind of break it down. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> no, that's great. So um, what are some of your top accomplishments in sport? <laughs> well, um, going to the Rio 2016 Paralympics was um, a top accomplishment and we won a bronze medal at the games. So that was amazing. Um, last year, we had the qualifier in Fort Wayne, Indiana, where we have our training site. And we had to get first or second place at that event to qualify for Tokyo. And we came in second place. So qualifying for the next Paralympics was a pretty big event. Um, and then we went to Peru last summer for the Para Pan American Games, where we took a silver medal there as well. So those are some of the top accomplishments in the past couple of years. That's great. That's, that's awesome. Um, what about your life outside of sports? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, you talked a little bit about school and work life. Yeah, so I am almost, I'm a little over halfway down with my master's in counseling. I really wanted to pursue this field because it's important to me to like help others and make a positive impact on their lives. Um, ideally, I'd like to go into disability counseling. I realize that it's a needed field. Um, there's not a lot of counselors out there who have a lived experience of a disability, and I want to like, work with others through any challenges or issues they're experiencing to help them out. That's awesome. Great. And what did it take you for you to get to this point in your life? A lot. Um, <laughs> a lot of work, hard work and determination. Um, it's hard when you pursue a career that you have to go to school extra. I knew that if I wanted to do counseling, I had to um, pursue a master's. So it was really hard to want to keep going to school. But um, I knew that if I wanted to do what my passion is, I had to keep pushing for it. Um, a lot of balance too. You have to figure out how you can balance all the things you want to get done and still make enough time for yourself because it's important to take care of yourself. Yeah, definitely. And um, what are some life skills that you've learned through sports and how have you used these in other areas of your life, which you've kind of already started to speak to? to? Yeah, well, with sports, um, I feel like, and especially with goalball, but with any adaptive sport, you do it can it teaches you how to be a part of a team which in the work world you'll have to be a part of a team and you don't always get along with everyone so you have to learn how to work with others um, who might be different than you and how you would handle things you have to um, also realize people depend on you so it teaches you accountability um, it teaches you um, strength and determination you might have a bad day in sports and you might not want to come back but you know you need to and then you're stronger for it um, hard work is a big aspect of it, but one thing for me that I, and if I'm touching on something you might ask later, just stop me, but it really helped me um, develop confidence and identity as someone with a visual impairment. Um, because when you are around others who share your same disability, you, you see them as role models. And for me, I started goalball at 14 and I got to see other people go to college, have jobs, have kids, see them doing things in their life and they were role models to me. So um, sports, on top of all the great skills it teaches you, it also, I think, teaches you a lot about confidence and in, like forming your own identity as someone with a disability. Awesome, yeah. Uh, it's neat to hear you talk about some mentors that you've had and uh, maybe in being a camp counselor, you could be a mentor for uh, you know some of the kids that you're working with at camp and whatnot. 
definitely. Uh, yeah. Um, what about how has sports tied into the uh, expanded core curriculum? Um, can you clarify that? Yeah, sure. yeah sure. So in the ex expanded core curriculum, um, some of the points are independent living, recreation and leisure, career education, uh, uh, sensory efficacy, uh, assisted technology, um, orientation and mobility, social interaction, <laughs> self-determination. So how does sport play to that for you? Well, a lot of people don't know this, but actually when goalball was invented, it was after World War II, um, after there was a lot of blinded veterans and they wanted a rehabilitation sport. But one of the main goals of the game was mobility, orientation and mobility to teach people, like for goalball, you have to learn where you're at on the court because you're out there with two other teammates. And if you're not aware of where you're at, you can injure someone or yourself. So it teaches you to know where are you at in space? How many steps does it take you to get to the goal? How many steps does it take you to get to the high ball line? So in that way, it can kind of transfer to mobility just by learning how to be aware of your um, surroundings and what other techniques can you use that aren't your vision to um, understand the world around you. Um, it definitely, as I touched on, it helped me transfer a lot of um, the skills in sport to interpersonal skills and social skills and um, taught me a lot about confidence. Um, again, with career, it teaches you how to be a part of a team. Um, so there's a lot of different ways it can uh, transfer into other aspects of your life. Awesome. Yeah, lots of uh, direct uh, direct connections, especially with the orientation one that you started with. That's a huge part of the game, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, and then going back to the the role model question, what is one thing you wish someone had told you when you were uh, our camper's age, between the ages of nine and 15? That's a great question. Um, to, I apologize for the phone in the background. Um, <laughs> and if you wanna wait a second, that's fine too. Um, let's see, something, I think to, to just be confident in who you are, I think sometimes when you have a um, disability or like a visual impairment, it's sometimes hard to always feel confident about that because we live in such a um, like sight-based society. 90% of the information people intake uh, is visual. And so like we are really based, like, we really base a lot of things off vision. So I think to just be confident and like use that and not see it as a limitation, but see it as like a strength and an empowerment that you have like a unique lived experience and you can help like raise education and awareness around that and like let that be something that empowers you. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share uh, with our campers or anyone who's going to be uh, viewing the interview? Um. Well, one thing is a lot of this interview, I've talked about goalball specifically because that's the sport I've played, but it's really about just finding a passion, something you love. Um, for me, I fell in love with goalball because I grew up loving sports and was never able to fully partake in the way I wanted. And so when I discovered goalball and everyone wears a blindfold, regardless of if you're completely blind, have some vision, or if you're even completely sighted, you're all equal. So for the first time for me, I felt like I could be an athlete first and just train and work hard and like build on my skills without having to feel like I'm compensating for the vision loss. However, not everyone loves goalball. I mean, you are throwing your body on the ground in front of a three pound ball. I understand that it's not <laughs> the three pound ball. But there are so many things out there and Northwest Association for Blind Athletes is exposing um, you guys to so many different things. There's swimming, there's running, there's five-a-side soccer, there's judo, there's, I mean, and then the outside events like rock climbing, tandem cycling, canoe, rowing, paddleboarding, you guys are capable of any outdoor adventure activity you want to. So um, just keep looking for something that like drives you and your passion because it does, you don't have to want to be a Paralympic athlete to like love a sport, or maybe you do want to be a Paralympic athlete and you can pursue that and, um, you know, work to meet your dreams. But at the end of the day, it's just about finding something that brings you joy. So no matter like what, if you try a sport and it's not the one for you, don't give up and don't think you're not like someone who enjoys 
athletics or being active because um, there's something that for everyone, even if it's just like yoga or going on walks or hikes. So just keep an open mind and keep searching for what drives you and your passions. Awesome. Yeah, there's the, the opportunities are endless. Uh, Absolutely. And it's a great uh, doorway to walk through to more adventure and opportunity in life. So. And utilize these opportunities because when I was younger, NWABA was just starting, not, I mean, not even until I was 14, 15. And so I didn't learn about goalball or some of these other adaptive sports until I was a bit older. So use these opportunities to like grow and like make memories and have experiences and learn from them. Um, Cause it's really, it's really great that you have access to these opportunities. Awesome. Eliana, thank you so much for uh, taking some time today to chat with us. We really appreciate it. And we wish you luck uh, with school and definitely with your goalball adventures too. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.